Hello, welcome to another vlog and we're gonna do a cooking vlog today. When we think about Olive Garden, we will never miss um, thinking about Zupa Toscana. So since it's getting cold, so we're gonna cook a soup recipe today. So we're gonna cook Zupa Toscana. Welcome to our kitchen! Here are the ingredients. We would need garlic and onion to saute. We have Italian sausage. This comes uh, in mild or hot, whatever you prefer. Um, we have kale. We have potatoes. These are russet, russet potatoes that will uh, cut diced later. We have uh, chicken broth and we have whipping cream. And we'll need salt and pepper to taste. So these are the Italian sausages that you would find in the frozen section. Uh, we got mild and I have to cook uh, four sausages. So we heated up our pot and since it's already hot, we're gonna put our cooking oil. We'll wait till the oil is a little bit hot. Now we're gonna put our Italian sausage. Some recipes na nabasa ko, they would use bacon and cook bacon first prior to this one. And use the oil. Pero we wanna revise it to less fat and less evil. So. So now we're gonna put our minced onions. And now let's put our garlic. Now we'll put our broth. It would be healthier and better if you would use a uh, homemade broth than this ready one. I'm gonna add water because usually uh, store-bought broth are high in sodium so I will just adjust the taste later with my own salt and pepper. Now we will put our russet potatoes. So we kept the skin so it's it would be good to soak it or brush it. If you have non-organic, I would suggest to really wash it real good or peel off the skin. Let's put our whipping cream. So you can put the whole thing, pero this is not healthy. But you could put just half, kung gusto nyo ng healthy. Pero, um, I'll put the whole thing. So we'll let this boil and um, taste it kung okay na yung salt and pepper um, if our potatoes good. So we only have one ingredient left after the salt and pepper and that is the kale. So we're almost done. So let me taste if it's uh, needing more salt. So just add salt to taste and add your pepper. And now, let's put the last, which is the kale. And our soup is ready! So 
So now let's try our soup. Supa, Supa Toscana. Toscana soup. So when we go to Olive Garden, we usually would order the what is that? The endless soup and salad. Yeah. And that would be uh, Zupa Toscana soup and the bread, the Caesar salad, and of course their soft, chewy, delicious breadstick. Breadstick. That we wish we could always get all the time, so we could yeah, just like eat more it. to go, <laughs> more to go. But then, yeah. You know. So this is. Let's try it. Let's try it. Too warm. Mm. This is perfect. Maybe we could make a. Um, thank you. We could make a um, our own Italian sausage. Yeah. I think it's just meat and some seasoning, but for sure it has cumin, pepper. That makes it. Um, what makes the Zupa Toscana this taste? Because I've tried just regular ground and it's not the same. Kayla for sure would add a little bit of salt later. Yeah, but then again, she would want it with more salt. salt. Yeah. Pero kami ni Vigi, okay this is good enough. Mm. Mm. And so, thank you for watching us again. And, um,. You don't need to go to Olive Garden. <laughs> you yes. could just do the copycat. Um, really simple Toscana recipe soup. too. Yeah. yeah, and since the holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas season, you could serve this this dish to your family, and um, we hope that you liked our video. So please like and subscribe. Bye. What the? Ano gusto mo sabihin ko? Hello, vlog. <laughs> Welcome to my guys. <laughs>